Do you ever feel like you could benefit from having a little bit more love, joy, and connection in your life? These feelings are at the epicenter of our own mental health and well-being, our sanity, our sense of enjoying life in this world. Today I'm going to talk to you about a simple idea and practice from the international best-selling author Brene Brown, and just bringing this into your life is going to make your life better today. Stay tuned. If you're new here, then my name is Dr. Elisha Goldstein. I am a clinical psychologist. I'm an author of multiple books on this topic. I am the creator of the Mental Health Accelerator program called Uncover the Power Within. If you're interested in learning more about that and why we even call it a Mental Health Accelerator, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Okay, so Cassandra Brene Brown. Yep, you heard, you heard me say that, right? If you didn't know that first name being Cassandra, is an American research professional. She made her big splash initially. You remember it from that gigantic TED Talk on the power of vulnerability. It really touched millions and millions and millions of people. Inevitably went on Oprah, wrote incredible books that have touched so many people about the power of shame and understanding shame in our lives and being able to move toward it and hold it in a different type of light so that we can find healing and really find our own courage, sense of courage and power in this world. And um, recently she came up with a new book that became an HBO special as well called Atlas of the Heart. And uh, in that book, she talks about this term that you've heard before called schadenfreude. So in here, we see that schadenfreude is a German word that means harm joy, harm joy is the experience of pleasure, joy, or self-satisfaction that comes from the learning of or witnessing the troubles, failures, or humiliation of another. It is, is a borrowed word from German with no direct translation that originated in the 8th century. Schadenfreude has been detected in children as young as 24 months and may be an important social emotion establishing inequity aversion. So, so in this particular in this particular term, what that happens is we're walking or we're, we're we're walking along and we see someone trip and we laugh, or we um, are on social media and we see an influencer make a wrong step and get you know a lot of negative reviews or something like that, and we feel good about that because that heightens our place in the world. Or maybe someone fails publicly and we're like, oh, that feels good. Like for example, when Will Smith made that. Um, famous slap on Chris Rock, you know, some, it may be possible you felt like, oh, good, you know, some, you know, someone in power is kind of getting their due or something like that. So, you know, that's that experience of schadenfreude that's there. And inevitably what happens is we get a kind of an initial hit from it, and then it has more depleting returns after that. It's not what builds us up. It's not what makes us stronger. It's not what leads to mental health. It's not what leads to joy, connection, in this in this world and so what is the opposite of that so in atlas of the heart Brene brown talks about this term called freud and freud um, which is uh, this idea of feeling joy for other people's joy and this also has its roots in a sanskrit term called mudita which means selfless joy having joy for other people's joy so there's something that happens with that if we go around in our day, and this is something that I've been, you know, doing for quite some time because it's been an essential part of my own personal practice, and also within the program that I mentioned before, the Uncover the Power Within program. One of the essential threads of that is being able to be on the lookout for other people's good moments, and even encouraging people to share their good moments, which we don't get to do very often in our life, and then allowing yourself to feel a sense of joy for their good moment, even sharing that. And so, um, and so. One of the things that she brings up in Atlas of the Heart is this idea of Freud and Freud, this idea of, um, of fanning the flame, even within yourself, of other people's good moments. I even did a, a video earlier that uh, you can reference right here that speaks to a little bit more about how to do that in our daily lives, but we'll talk about it here too. And so we're, we're basically on the lookout for people's good moments. I take a walk on the beach oftentimes because I live closer to the ocean. And even people who are jogging, who are taking care of their bodies, I might take a moment and say like, hey, good for you. That's really great that you're having such a good moment. Or 
Um, I might find that people are having a certain accomplishment. And I say in my mind, like, hey, you know, good for you. That's really great that you're having that accomplishment. And so this is one of the things that we can actually do. What Brene Brown talks about is how this is a predictor of deeper connection in our lives. And my research has found that connection is at the epicenter of well-being. She talks about a great example with her kids around how um, she would tell her kids when they were like in third or fourth grade, she would have them hold their hands open like this and say, imagine there's a flame in there. That flame is like your essence. And what we want is we want to surround ourselves with people. So this is the big point here. Surround ourselves with people who are going to fan that flame. And what we, we want to do is surround ourselves less with people who are blowing the flame out. You say, oh, you know, I got this really great grade or I got this really great accomplishment at work. Oh, all right. Well, that's not so big of a deal. Blowing that out. Or, you know, I've really been taking care of my body a whole lot lately. Oh, well, you're still looking like you're a little overweight. Blow it out. So her major point is that what she says is we don't want we don't want flame blower outers. Um, We want people to surround ourselves with that are going to support the good moments in our lives. They're going to be encouraging to the, the good moments in our life. So I'm going to just sum this up as a, in a, in a couple things that are going to support your mental health today and bring more joy, love, and connection into your life. So the first thing is be on the lookout for people's good moments. This could be your kid. This could be a family member. This could be a coworker. This could be just a stranger on the street. Someone's jogging, say, hey, or taking care of their body. Say, hey, good for you. You're another human being who's taking care of yourself. Someone shares an accomplishment with you. See if you can just say to yourself like, hey, that's that's really great. Or say to them, hey, that's really great. Or share it on a text. Share it places. It feels so good. It actually makes you feel better. And, um, and it could be, again, could be anything. Now, that's the first thing. It's really about seeing, be on the lookout for people's good moments and see if you can fan their flame. Hey, that is great. Even if it's just within yourself, great. If you can share it out loud because it's something you care about or know, even better. Um, And the second thing is be on the lookout for people who are also encouraging your flame. So we want to surround ourselves with people, make contact with people, more frequent contact with people who are supportive and encouraging our flame. We have a good moment. We're taking care of our bodies. We want people who are like, yes, good for you. We're taking care of our mental health. That's awesome. Good for you. We have accomplishments in life. That's great. I'm so happy for your accomplishment. We want to see if we can be on the lookout for those people. Um, We have a whole community in our Uncover the Power Within program that is full of those people. It's the atmosphere we encourage in there. Um, And there's maybe people in your own life and you can even voice it to them like, hey, when I'm having, what I need is I need some encouragement. So if I'm sharing a good thing, please, you know, see if you can like say that. That's so great. I'm so happy for your good moment. If it's people that you have frequent contact with or you feel close to, you can share that need with them and see what arises. So again, First thing, we're looking for, be on the lookout for, maybe it's actually three things. We're we're being on the lookout for when we experience schadenfreude, right? And we're saying, oh, there goes my mind again, you know, feeling, um, you know, good in the midst of someone's misfortune. And then um, we're taking note of that, softening our bodies, releasing, and remembering our intention to be on the lookout for the Freudenfreud or the mudita, that's there, that selfless joy, being on the lookout for people's good moments, and being able to feel a sense of um, like acknowledgement of their good moment at the very least, but maybe a sense of happiness that they're another human being that's having good moment, whether it's someone just laughing with their friends or accomplishing something or taking care of themselves. And the third thing is look around and see like, hey, do I have people around me that are also supporting my own good moments, that are supporting my own joy, the good things in my life? And if not, Maybe where can I find some more of those people? Or if they're people close to me, maybe I can express that need to them. So those three things, right? If you can bring those three things in your life, you're going to bring more joy, love, and connection into your life. And you're going to be a bit happier today and tomorrow and a bit more resilient. If this was helpful to you, please go ahead and like this video. That tells YouTube like, hey, this is something worth letting other people know about. And if you haven't subscribed here yet, go ahead and subscribe below. We put out great mental health tips every week that are going to make your days a little bit better. And 
I look forward to being with you in the next video. I'm going to leave a few videos on the side for you here to continue to enjoy, deepen, integrate, learn. And uh, I look forward to being with you the next time.